A Shelbyville football coach is recovering from a mini stroke. WANV's Evan Collins caught up with some of the Rams football team members to talk about the impact Coach Duckett has on the community. No. The Shelbyville community is coming together after head football coach Bill Duckett suffered a mini stroke on Sunday night. Monday was scary when he was uh, struggling with a few things, but uh, when I went back Tuesday morning with him, he was uh, becoming himself again. As I mentioned, he was cracking jokes and, and starting to put everything together and realize what was going on. And even with the postseason just around the corner, these scary situations seem to put football on the back burner. We know that that's what he wanted. He wants us to focus on football. But after football, we all, all we do is think about him. During we pray for him, just hope for the best. This is Duckett's second year as head coach of the Rams. But based on the community support, you would never know it. Our crowd's been great. Uh, we've had so many uh, Facebook messages, texts. We've talked to everybody around. It's just asking about coach. How's he doing? Sending prayers to him and his family. They're uh, they're well loved and respected. Now, I talked to several players here at practice, and all of them agreed. They all said that Coach Duckett is more than just a football coach. He's like a second father to them. Someone I can go to for anything. Um, it means a lot to all of us on the team. A lot of us, are, all of our seniors, um, we've been around him since freshman year. He's always there. If you just need to be happy, just go into his room during lunch, and he'll make you laugh all the time. Shelbyville may have lost their sideline general for the remainder of the season, but one thing's for sure. They'll never lose their father figure. In Shelbyville, Evan Collins, WAND News. Well, we're having an auction of unclaimed property here today. This is something we've not done in a live auction since Judy Bar Topinka was state treasurer. We've had people come here from Arizona, New Mexico, Minnesota. Got a lot of interest. What do you think? Well, some of them are collectors, some of them are in business, some of them do it for fun, like I do. Uh, I've been to a couple auctions like this, maybe. So the items we're auctioning off are all things that were in people's safety deposit boxes at bank. We have an Ernie Banks Topps rookie card. We have a thousand dollar bill. Those are no longer in production. And we have a penny that we think is worth more than ten thousand dollars. I bought Ernie Banks and Al Kaline. They went together. Rookie cards. I think I paid about six hundred dollars for both of them. I'm going to give it to my uh, buddy that was my roommate in college fifty years ago. When I came into office, a lot of people said that they enjoyed Judy Bar Topinka's live auctions out of the state fair. Asked why we didn't do it anymore. We decided that a lot of people wanted us to do this, and so we're trying it this year. And so far, we've had a great response. 